It was large enough to have you classify at stage 3A based on the size of the tumor alone. For those of you who are unfamiliar with cancer staging protocols, this is the same stage that Walter White was placed in in the TV series Breaking Bad. And we're not all how, how well that turned out. So. <laughs> Fortunately, a friend gave me the number of the American Cancer Society, 1-800-ACS-2345, and I still have it on the speed dial. I don't know why I've memorized it anyway, but without them, I probably wouldn't be here. You folks each year raise more funds for cancer research than any other academic institution in the world. And for you, I am profoundly grateful. Because of you and the American Cancer Society, I have the courage to raise my fist in defiance with my favorite slogan, cut the answer. <laughs> it will take more than that to bring this home down. When my dad asked what was wrong, she told him that she thought she had no more motivation or anything left in her to fight. As a home cue, right at that moment, my laughter echoed in through the window as I was playing outside with my friends. Right then and there is when my mom realized she was going to do whatever it took to fight this awful disease and never give up. My mom's story involves countless rounds of chemotherapy, radiation, many, many medicines, shots, pills, and so many hard battles in between. The woman who inspires not only me, but everyone in her presence has overcome every battle cancer has thrown her way. Not even sure if she would make it to my fifth grade graduation, I cannot wait to look in the crowd on May 15th and see my mom's smiling face. I'm a general surgeon and I specialize in treating breast cancer. As I tell my patients, boobs are us. About five years ago, I had a difficult month. I had three newly diagnosed breast cancer patients all in their 30s in less than a month. When I saw these patients, I thought, I have got to get these patients together. And so I contacted them and said, it is okay if I give your contact information to someone else. And all of them said yes. They became an amazing little support group for each other. These 30-year-old women got each other through surgery, reconstruction, chemotherapy, and radiation. And at the end, they went through it on a cruise together. <laughs> <laughs> These patients are an inspiration to me. They have an amazing spirit. They're so tough. And they have so much joy in their lives. We used to have a swing uh, in front of my house uh, back in Virginia Beach. Uh, and some days when we were younger, me and my friends would go on it. Uh, just hang out, do homework, talk about, you know, anything, you know, who we were crushing on, you know, stuff like that. And I never really appreciated that swing and everything that it really stood for until February 2007, uh, when I was actually faced with my own mortality at the age of 15. Uh, I just remember feeling my insides wanting to become outsides, and that's just the running joke that my family had, and that's kind of weird, actually. Uh, <laughs> Finally, after those two weeks, the doctors came in and said, okay, we're going to do exploratory surgery and figure out what's really going on. In that surgery, they removed a 12-inch tumor in my small intestine, and I was diagnosed the day after with stage 4 diffuse large B-cell, not Hopkins lymphoma. I just remember sitting in that swing, swinging back and forth, and telling myself that I will get better. There's no diagnosis that can tell me differently than that. I was extremely lucky. I finished my chemotherapy in six months, and I've been in remission for five years now. Hope was a key factor in the continuous of my own life, and I believe that even if the odds are against you, that we really have to fight and keep hoping for ourselves and for others, because life is worth so much more than anything that cancer can take away from us. I'm so sick of this disease, and, and all the variants of this disease, and the impact of this disease has in society. So this is. This is a slide that compares the cancer incidence in 1950 and 2014, okay? And, and really, you look at these numbers and say, Carla, you haven't done absolutely anything. In this case, right? <laughs> but we, we have done a lot of things. We, we really have better treatment for cancer, and we have really cures for cancer in some cases. And so nowadays, we know that single drugs therapies, they don't really work anymore, and nowadays, we have combination therapies. The combination therapies have been extremely effective in curing very many types of cancers. But the message is clear. The message is, it's not only, you know, fundraise a lot of money for research, it's also what this activity actually brings to the community. All, okay, it's inspirational. You see those kids walking overnight, including myself, and the survivors walking, walking, 
and it's truly inspirational. Okay, thank you guys for inviting me.